I think we're about to do something here. Hopefully. The case might also not be over. I'm just assuming it's over. Alright, so. 9th of January, 7.14pm. SS Buria First Class Cabin Passageway. What will happen to Miss Pavova now, then? It's been two whole days. I gotta remember how to pronounce everyone's name. This is Ryunosuke. Once we reach Great Britain, she'll be handed over to the British police at Scotland Yard. Okay. For the fact that she ran away from Russia. Will the Russians try to re repatriate her? Repatriate? Apparently the English detective can speak to the immigration office and sort all of that out. Oh, Sean's the hero. Don't be going back to Russia? That's good. <laughs> Poor Beef Stroganoff. This guy looks so sad. Even if she wanted to return in the future, I doubt she'd be able to. She ran away, and now she's in exile for life. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I'm sorry. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> but you can't keep calling this man Seaman Stroganov. You cannot keep calling him that. Please. Wanted to help our angel no matter what. But I didn't think about you, about how you lost a good friend. I will go with Nina. I will give myself to British police. Oh, dude, you could. You'll, you'll be alright, buddy. Thank you for letting me go free again. Aren't we giving her the chair? Cranberry, honestly, I would be very surprised if this game just was like, yep, and it's really sad, but now we're killing her. That's it. Like, there's gonna have to be more to this story. Azuma's death feels like such a waste, but. Well, do what you can for Miss Pavlova, won't you? Can't we just, like... Can't we, can't we just, like, set up a fall guy? Are you need a pack now? We're due to arrive in Hong Kong tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we are still a stowaway. Hey, I'm not going back to Japan, Hosanaga. I'm going to Great Britain. No, I'm going, I'm going to Great Britain. But you should get back to your cabin now. I'm going to Great Britain, brother. Hey, they tidied up the room. The study tour to Great Britain is over even before it's begun. I'm confident that Sholmes is going to say something about this. He's probably going to be, like, dangling from the ceiling. <laughs> It'd be pretty wild if we impersonate Kazuma. It'd be kind of fucked up, actually. Oh, what's that? Is it someone weeping? Oh, it's... I... They... They pan the camera. I was confident I was about to see Sholmes over there. I was extremely confident I was about to see that man there. Hello, Sosato. She's got, she's got the sword. Extremely menacing. Yeah, Sasato. How did you not? How did she not hear us? The the but the, the door is massive. Victor Hosanaga just told me I should attack. Ready to leave the ship tomorrow and all that. Uh, Sholm's crying. Maybe like Sholm's crying while doing a cool hang from the lamp by his feet maneuver. Oh, she's gonna yeah. I still can't believe this has happened. I can't believe someone's life can be over just like that. Look, I've, I've already explained to the people that I am feeling sadness. We can move on from this emotion. I'm ready to move to a different emotion. Give me, like, give me some excitement. He had such grand ideas for this visit to Great Britain. So many dreams. And now they've been cruelly taken away just as he has. Thought I could never forgive the person responsible. But now... Now we know the truth. It was just an accident. Just a silly series of mishaps. Did you hear the way that the game did like a little clue ping on that one? It's too much now to hold us on. It's... Please call me Ryunosuke. I can't... I can't keep the two separate names in my head straight. Just taking a quick second here to make sure that I actually set myself to the right category and all that. We're good. 
I wish there was something I could say. This has to be Apple Samaga. My duty was to see Osogi's son safely to Great Britain, but I failed and caused his two closest friends great pain and suffering as a result. Let everyone down. Yeah, someone is going to turn out to actually be the Russian revolutionary doing some kind of cool play. I will do anything to make up for my terrible blunder. This dude gave up his queen for nothing? Come on, dude. Why am I, why am I in handcuffs again? Ah, this fucker. Ah, this fucker. Bro, we're mourning here, Sholmes. Read the room, dude. In my head, I think I shall always picture you wearing those shackles. Without them, the balance seems all wrong. But... That is... Yeah, pardon me. I had to restore them for old time's sake. I hate you, Sholmes. You're a monster. We are discussing our friend's death. Why did you handcuff us? Who are you, Mr. Sholmes? I do appreciate all your assistance. I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mm hmm. No, he's 34. Nah, this guy's 26. I don't care what the game says. Although, this game has inspired me to maybe pick up the Sherlock Holmes books. I kind of want to read about the real guy. I wonder if he's half as goofy as this. The loss of your companion is truly heartrending. I hope that you will be able to fulfill. Buddy, you were just... You're a menace, brother. Maybe that won't be possible. I'll be disembarking at the next port in Hong Kong. We have to return to Japan and make a full report. Oh. It's me that has to go back. I was the stowaway. Ah, but are you going to send a 15-year-old? She's 15, right? 16? How old are you? Sasada. Are you going to send a 16-year-old girl alone to Great Britain? In terms of this study tour were negotiated by the Department of Justice of both Great Britain and Japan. It was to be one lawyer and one assistant. Oh, so we have to become a lawyer. In the light of Mr. Osogi's unfortunate death, I'm afraid the study tour can no longer go ahead. Poor Sasato-san. I just gotta become a lawyer. Dear fellows, the majority of has to be Sholmes talking. It didn't give me a name, but I knew. All you require is a lawyer. Yeah? He's right. There is no one else with the necessary qualifications. We know of no other lawyer. Hmm. Any qualifications obtained in your own country will be of little value in Great Britain. I mean, I guess. Voyage to London still promises a good- Are we gonna crash course fucking becoming a lawyer? In one month? Mrs. Sato. Do you think perhaps I might be able to become a lawyer? Who could have seen this plot point coming? You're not a lawyer unless, I mean, we are a lawyer, kind of. And I see the frames, I'm waiting. Don't worry, I see him. Ashbait, hello. I'm assuming you can still hear me since we haven't gone all the way to zero yet. They're just giving me half of the expected uh, connection. Not, not going to zero. Charter's gonna become a lawyer. I'm gonna be taking Charter to my freaking lawyers, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not. So we're not even a lawyer. We're not even a law student. 
there's even a chance it could work. We did successfully defend ourselves in a court of law, Hosonaga. Said there is still more than a month before we reach England's shores. Yeah, true. Do what I must to become a lawyer in Great Britain. Yeah, just gonna speed run our lawyer degree. That's ridiculous. Only one way to find out if I can speed run a law degree. Work my fingers to the bone every day. Will you let me try? I hope that we just spend like the entire night learning procedural law. I can't be a lawyer when we get to Great Britain. I'll take punishment. Mm -hmm. Do it for Kazuma, of course. You're very much in love with Herlock Sholmes. I think I hate him. Not 100% certain yet. He's like... I, I go between hating him and liking him every single time he's on the screen. Sacrifice everything to make it happen. In the rule like that says a dog can't be a lawyer. That's true. Cranberry, that's a good point. For my own benefit, too. Mm hmm. I will become a lawyer. I have to. Damn, dude. It's kind of free. Do I hate him? He's hilarious. Like, he's 50-50. He's Sometimes he's, uh... Sometimes he's a menace. It's a wonderful idea. Hey. What does our bespectacled and pet inspector friend say? Yeah, Wilsonaga, what do you say? One lawyer and one assistant. The numbers are indisputable. Hey, didn't you just say you would do anything for us? You're like 0 for 2 on keeping people I care about alive, brother. Beauty and rules are the dull routine of existence that we all abhor. Give us interest and fascination. I should get a pipe like this. I, th I wouldn't put anything in it. I just want a pipe like this. But dude, was the other one? John Wilson? I mean, he wasn't like... It wasn't great, but... You know. He shouldn't have died. You care about it? He did get... He indirectly did get us framed, so... Qualifications are no measure of a man. What matters is his character. <laughs> so, uh... Next time... I'm gonna try... I'm actually gonna try this one next time, uh, or when I go for a job interview. Uh, qualifications are no matter of a man. What matters is his character. Try, try that one in your next job interview. See how it goes. One guy who had a corncob pipe and he didn't smoke it. He put it in his mouth to look cool. Hmm. Told neck <laughs> do not get a decorative pipe. Uh, shit. Ample evidence of the character from the early hours until now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone tomorrow, you'll try it. Y'all, take take the bullet, cash. It's gonna go great, I bet. And I shown, yeah, yeah. I... A good pipe is on par with tips fedora levels of cringe. Yeah, but like, okay, so what if I put a bunch of water in it, and then I just boiled the water and pretended I was smoking that? Would that be better or worse? Think of a clever way to word my report to the Department of Justice. Bro, I did just make a promise. Paki, you also have an interview today? Good luck. I, sh I think it'll go well. If you want, you can put me down as a reference. Tell them, put down the stream link and tell them to come ask me about you. You too, Cash. Give your interviewer my stream link and tell them to pop in and ask me a few questions about you. Yo, excuse me, I must pay a visit to the captain's quarters. I need to discuss what to do next and how to make my <laughs> report. Yeah, also, Cranberry will ban them. Are you prepared to attempt this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, would you consider teaching me what I need to know? Everything about being a lawyer. Would be delighted. Hey, we're in. Alembic, hello. 
Got too comfy for your free stream nap? Don't worry, you didn't miss much. I'd like you to take charge of this. <laughs> I knew... I, I knew they were gonna do it. But it's still very funny that I'm just gonna take a sword. <laughs> Lady, I don't know how to wield this sword. Its name is Karuma. It's a great sword that's been in the Asogi clan for generations. I'll treasure it always. Do you think that the Asogi clan is an, at all related to Phoenix Wright's other good friend, Larry Butts? So then, Miss Sasato, seems we'll be working together for some time to come yet. Be an honor, Mr. Naruhodo. For the next 40 days, I shan't grant you a single minute of freedom. I'll fill every spare moment with study. Hell yeah. Is it, like, I understand the idea of, like, putting the book in her sleeve, and it's a really cool look. But, like, as soon as she angles her arms down, that book would fall out, right? Like, tell me that book would not just instantly fall out of those arms. Attached to her wrist? Ah, that makes a lot of sense. That's that's kind of sick. Before we begin, I have an earnest favor to ask of you. Okay. Please throw me to the what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Lady? <laughs> Sasato? <laughs> Should never have doubted you. You were Kazuma-sama's closest friend. Yo, I was just thinking, I did want to be- Aw, oh, Cranberry! Cranberry, I was- I was gonna be famous! Of course you would have never done anything to hurt him. That should have been obvious to me from the start. But I allowed suspicion to get the better of me. And no matter how upset I was feeling, it was completely unforgivable behavior. No, you were in shock. No, I won't let you make- pardon me. Uh, you were in shock. You found me stowing away and the cabin door was locked from the- And I won't let you make excuses. Whatever the circumstances, I should never have thrown you not once, but five times. Please, you must. Just take hold of me and throw me. <laughs> this is extremely odd. No, I don't even know how I've never thrown anyone in my life. Holmes, how long have you been here? <laughs> Has he just been standing here for this whole conversation? Oh, Mr. Sholmes, yeah. Observed your throwing technique several times with great interest. I confess I was most impressed. I presume that would be a form of Japanese wrestling. I mean, my own interpretation of an ancient jujitsu technique. <laughs> he was hanging on to a... <laughs> I hope there's a scene where he's just like, the coat is hung up on the coat hook and he's just in the coat. Called the Sasato Takedown. It leaves your head swimming. Mm -hmm. I am a practitioner of the combative arts myself. I am a son. Did he just punch her in the head? Hey, Sasato, look out. <laughs> oh my god, he actually hits her. Wait, do you see this? He punches her right in the fucking jaw in this animation cycle. Holmes, you can't do that. Stop hitting this lady. And apparently Sholmes is an accomplished boxer, though. There he goes, dancing around again. I wonder if you'd be so kind as to instruct me on the technique of your arresting throw. 
It'd be honored, dude. He just keeps punching her. Demonstrate, my dear madame. Oh my god, she's gonna flip my ass. Are you ready? No, don't put me upside down again. No. It actually just, it doesn't feel like I'm laying on the floor. It feels like I'm standing on the ceiling in this shot. A hundred percent. It, I am standing on the ceiling. Best thing indeed, and this is what you term the Sasato takedown. We know that was a Sasato squash. Pardon me. There's different forms. Record is twenty three and zero. Dude, he's Floyd Mayweather versus Herlock Holmes. Who would win? Seen from an evening recently spent with Kazuma flickered into my mind. Okay. Uh. Karuma. That's right. It's a prized sword that's been passed down through generations of the Asogi clan. I knew this already. Maybe you managed to get permission to bring it with you. Taking a katana on a study is more than a little irregular. Mm -hmm. A Japanese man's sword is his soul. I can't be parted from my katana. Oh, uh, they're gonna do some shit where, like, we're gonna pull the katana out in court, like, one case from now, and Kazuma's soul is gonna solve the case for me. Aruma guides me. I truly believe that. And compels its wielder to slice evil in two. On that subject... There's something very important that I have to do in Great Britain. And I'll sacrifice anything to make it happen. Appreciate you seeing it through with me. He's, he has to catch Jack the Ripper, I bet. Of course I will. Whatever it is, I'll see it through to the end with you. What if evil does a mitosis? No. Cuts evil in two and then there's just two more heads. The Hydra of Evil. Important thing he had to do. I still don't know what that was. 100% the important thing he had to do was find and slice uh, Giselle Brett into. Hey, Pocket, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Need to stop the come on fries bandit. Cranberry, do you have any leads? Also, over there, they're called chips, I'm pretty sure. We just get like a wiring montage here. My goal for tonight is to not uh, accidentally play until 4 a.m. again. I think there's ever ghosts or anything in this series talking from beyond the grave. Yeah, I know. And thankfully, there's no precedent for that. The Adventure of the Runaway Room, Episode 3. Episode 4. Episode 5. We got three more episodes. This game... I'm... It's gonna feel a little short, I think. I'm uncertain. How long have I played? I guess I've played 11 hours. Holy Dancing shit. Dancing over my records of the late last century, I am faced by the events of a certain bitter winter. A murder in a carriage as it sped through dense London fog in the dead of night. Though the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones inside, there were multiple witnesses to the crime itself. However, none could have imagined at the time that such a seemingly obvious case as this would end in such a horrendous manner. My friend, Mr. Herlock Sholmes once said of the incident, I believe that perhaps that case was indeed the prelude. Is the Herlock Sholmes that we know a fake? That impressive Japanese student and I were to play together. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. The second game is longer. Ashbay, are you telling me there's another game after this? Because that's really excellent news. I thought this might be it. Like these five games might Amazing. be it. Is is this really just a railway station? 
railway station or not, I've never seen such an enormous building before. <laughs> oh, wait, do you see that? Ryunosuke's hair has like a little spike going on. Do you see that? This country is incredible. Yo, show me that hair spike again. Yo, Terry's lever watches? The bundle of one and two? That's exceptional news. I feel like like I'm dreaming. So this is the capital of Great Britain. It's her accent? It's like kinda so, British. Where to? Oh, hello. Climb aboard. I'll take you wherever you want to go. I'll take you wherever sorry, I'll take you. In that case, How do you I'm say that? The I'll take you. Like Can I hear that again? My pleasure. I suppose you're a uh, visiting students from abroad, eh? <laughs> yes. Wait, are they? Have... Is Sasato well, about to I get killed? They did say the murder happened. To the center of the world, Great Britain's mighty capital, London. Is Sasato about to get murdered in this carriage ride? I'll be heated. And you, hello. Objection, that is a line in the game. Although it wasn't in yesterday or last episode. But that is a line in the game, yeah. Oh, also, Ashbait, there's 10 episodes in total? Ooh. That's really good news. <laughs> I, I pray we don't get framed again. Please, anything but that. It's February 18th now. Hey, she's alive. Let's go. What an incredible place. I mean, it's okay. So imposing, it's almost suffocating. Breathtaking, it looks like a fortress. <laughs> yeah, those suits of armor are a little fucking gaudy, brother. There's some stone buildings like this in Japan now. But they've only been built in the few short decades since we've opened our borders to the outside world. An authentic example like this has quite a different impact. A far cry from the wood and paper most of our buildings are constructed from. Yeah, it's real weird. What's going on with the massive gears? Do they really just have massive gears in buildings? Are we in Big Ben? Oh, we're in Big Ben right now. The Supreme Court is in Big Ben? Because that's that's the clock face out there, right? That's that's Big Ben in the... Where are we? Where am I? <laughs> what is this place again? This is the Lord Chief, Ju Chief Justice Office, Naruhodo-san, in the Supreme Court of Great Britain. Who is the Lord Chief Justice? And instructions to report here at this time. If circumstances were different, we're supposed to let the Lord Chief Justice know that we had arrived from Japan. But Kazuma cannot, so instead we are here in a different capacity as envoys to report the news of Kazuma-sama's death. Having delivered his or her message, an envoy's duty is done. Let me go to Japan. Mm -hmm. Want to remain here in Great Britain? I am Kazuma now. Open <laughs> up to fire the Ben laser. I think that's what Ben Shapiro calls his closing argument. The Ben laser. Means her requisite qualifications as a lawyer. Uh huh? Here in Great Britain is the Lord Chief Justice who appoints lawyers. That's the second reason why we're here, to have you officially recognized as a lawyer. Put on the headband. <laughs> the only way they will be able to remain here in London. If he says no, we just pull the katana out. Ah, uh, good morning. Sorry for keeping you. Oh my god. Holy moly. <laughs> He's so tall. I trust you aren't too exhausted after your long voyage from Japan. Hmm. 
It seems I'm one hour, 12 minutes, and 47 seconds late. My apologies. Who, who are you? <laughs> we're never happier than when we're standing around with nothing to do. Ryunosuke, that sounds sarcastic. So, introductions. I am Male Strongheart. This guy's name is what? Male Strongheart? Oh my god. Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire. Like a mouse under an elephant's foot. Is this Warhammer 40k? This dude, he actually looks a lot like Leo from Strive. I... Holy moly. It's an honor to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Strongheart. Dude, I love this guy. I don't care what his role is, he is great. Ryunosuke Narahodo from the Empire of Japan. Oh, Mr. Narahodo. Welcome to London, the capital of our glorious British Empire. I feel like you could just, like, crush our head. Slam those hands together. Your Cosmo? No, we're just gonna pass the. We're gonna pass the bar. That's all. Right, let me look at his desk first. This must be the Lord Chief Justice's desk. It's made of marble. More like an over the top tombstone. Holy shit. That's your fanciful imagination at work again. Mm hmm. I know, that's why this place feels so overbearing. Everything is made of stone instead of wood. Can you tell me about these massive gears, too? Is this some kind of clock? Actually, I think we might be inside some sort of giant clock. Those gears are larger than anything you'd find on a steam locomotive. I think clocks are some sort of hobby of his. Do you think clocks are some sort of hobby of his? Hey, what's your hobby? What do you like to do for fun? Clocks. Boys do enjoy fiddling around with machines, don't they? I guess. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, clock. It's amazing how little noise the cogs are making. Actually, something quite soothing about their precise rhythm. Hey, what time is it? Candlestick? Such a wicked occupational hazard. Not Dusk, it's actually genius though, because once you uh, once you determine someone's guilty, you just throw them into the gears. Let their body get chewed up. Just look at all the naughty books placed or packed together on these shelves. It goes from floor to ceiling. They're all books that you couldn't hope to come by in Japan. It's like a dream. Very bad dream. I don't rust the gears. You just throw in some WD-40 after the body. Oh, about British law either. There are books about the judicial system of other Western nations. France, Germany, Spain, Holland, Russia. Wondering about asking the Lord Chief Justice how you say wardrobe in Russian. I don't think this guy... I don't think this guy speaks Russian. This guy speaks the Queen's English and nothing else. Did they still have a queen in- I mean, they have a queen now. Was it still like a primarily monarchy, queen runs everything sort of deal in the 1800s? When did- when did the monarchy just become like a celebrity position in Great Britain? Look at these menacing metal giants facing each other across the room. Mm -hmm. I believe they're suits of armor. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, maybe they were like the lion dogs we have in Japan guarding shrine gates. I mean, kind of. Suits of armor like these are always possessed by evil spirits, and they roam around in the middle of the night. That seems like a bad play. This book tells me everything I need to know about everything. If you're uh, This book tells her everything she needs to know about everything. She's got a fucking iPhone in there. This lady's just like, the book is just a hole and she Googles things. Alright. You guys are saying yes to them still being like a primary monarchy? Which is... 
Hang on. Sorry. My bad. Have you seen... Oh, this is the arm... Wait, where's my pin? Alright, I don't want to show him my armband that I took off of Kazuma's corpse. Hey, tell me about London, Strongheart. What are your impressions of our capital so far? How do you like London? Dude, it's big. Oh, help. I've been so nervous that I, since I got here, I can't remember a single thing about the city. Yeah, get it. Save me, Sasato. Constitutional monarchy restricted by laws such as the Bill of Rights in 1689. The power of the monarch are much older than that as seen in the Magna Carta. Okay, so it was mostly... It had to be mostly phased out by this point, then. Oh. We had a wonderful view of some London streets from the carriage on the way here from the station. Everything is so impressive and grand. I must say I'm almost lost for words. Glad to hear you like it. The city boasts tramways, pipe water, and gas, even cables supplying electricity. We've spearheaded every revolutionary new technology in the world. Every visitor to London is astounded. Yeah. A good word. Sasato saves us again. Everyone seems so jolly and full of vigor. You know, words that I would use to describe people from Great Britain? Not jolly. Definitely not jolly. Also definitely not full of vigor. Much excitement about the upcoming Great Exhibition we'll be hosting here in London. Cultural and technological achievements from around the globe are to be exhibited here in our great city. It will be the greatest spectacle of its kind in history, and will make Paris's World Fair look like a toy shop. You know, Cranberry, I guess you could say that for British people. I can't stop you. No sim can stop you. Gosh, I can hardly imagine how magnificent it's going to be. Great Britain's capital city is nothing but magnificent. London is the center of the modern world. The sun will never set on our great empire. Ooh. Ooh. Strong heart. Perhaps it is fate that in these progressive times we welcome visitors from the land of the rising sun. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm here to study law. Lord Chief Justice, I think you were expecting a student of law for the study tour, weren't you? Yes. A hey, Mr. Kazuma Asogi. How did he, he remember the name? Holy shit, he's good. The British government has already been telegraphed a full report on the situation. I understand the young man lost his life aboard the steamship bound for our shores. Wow. Incredible. My country naturally extends its deepest condolences to yours. You're like a- you're a chief justice. You don't- can he speak on behalf of the country? You honored this appointment specifically to inform me of the news. I mean, we were also here to say, hey, I want to be a lawyer. We're in the capacity of envoys from Japan to report the sad news in person. Tell me you Japanese- I really, really, really hate it when they make me say you Japanese and things like that. It just doesn't feel good. I don't like it at all. Are a people of protocol and courtesy, and I see that is true. And it is with some regret that I must inform you. The death of the young lawyer means the study tour arrangement can no longer proceed. Yeah, hold on, I've been studying law for 40 whole days. About the study tour. I know, James Bond, I would not prefer a you people. I would probably prefer them, like, there's definitely a better way than you Japanese. Maybe, like, a your people would be okay? Speaking now well, Mr. Narahodo. Hey, let me be a lawyer. I am nuts at this game. The thing is, Lord Justice, uh, Lord Strongheart, I was wondering if perhaps you would consider allowing the study tour to go ahead. Don't misunderstand me, Britain would ideally like to see the tour go ahead, but without a lawyer from your country, there's nothing to be done. Let me pass the bar real quick. Is there something I don't know? 
only a single lawyer was invited to Great Britain. Well, you see, I committed a crime. I, I, you see. Just can't seem to find the words. Sasato, save me. Thank you. Ruin things here if I'm not careful. What am I going to say? There is someone else here from Japan who could be described as a lawyer. It's... <laughs> Why? Is this even a choice? Uh, well, first of all, it's so that I remember to save. I'm going to school for? I'm going to school for software engineering. It's Miss Sasato. It can probably only be Miss Sasato. <laughs> An unusual introduction, but I presume you mean this charming lady beside you. You're a lawyer, eh? Yes. She's giving me. After all the days of hard work she put in to help me study. I can't let her down now. Yeah, haha. <laughs> funny, funny joke. Haha. <laughs> Pranked. In this episode of Ace Attorney Chronicles, we pull a cool prank for our YouTube prank channel. Is that so? I'm waiting for, like, the butterfly Sasato will remember this to pop up. I mean, I don't actually have any qualifications as such. No qualifications, and yet... I have acted as a lawyer in court before, only once defending myself from a false murder. I've been spending every spare moment on the journey here to Great Britain study. I've learned all about British law and court proceedings while I was on board the SS Burya. Hey, can someone do the SS Burya joke, please? Friend, actually, if you would like to. Uh, or Cranberry, whoever wants to take it up. I just, I really need someone to make the joke for me. The voyage from Japan is some 50 days, I believe. Not my, not what you might call a full education. To become a qualified lawyer here in Britain, not only do you need a university degree in law, you must also complete several years of training. I realize it's far too short a period of time, but I can't just go back to Japan. Yeah, you can. How's Mr. Asogi's journey had only just begun. Coming here on the study floor was all he thought about. I have to carry on and do everything he planned to do. Hurry up my head in these books to get your full education. Bury a face in a pillow after a long day's work so you can take a nice nap. Buryese nuts. Burmese python. I know I must sound like I have an overly inflated opinion of myself, but I would do anything to prove that I have what it takes. Any test. Just one chance, please. Hmm. 31 seconds. Your opening statement there, Mr. Narahodo, it was 31 seconds long. Not too brief, not too protracted. A perfectly judged appeal, I would say. Which is a skill that would stand you in good stead as a lawyer. Yeah. So you're willing to put those words into trial, are you? I'm all for entertainment. Let me ask you one thing first, sir. Uh-huh. You say you intend to do everything Mr. Asogi planned to do. Are you firmly set on that path? He had a secret mission that I don't know about. Am I imagining things? Or did his expression just alter a fraction there all of a sudden? I didn't notice it. Very well. You have your wish, I'll give you a chance. Oh, we're nuts. To become a specially certified lawyer, whether your pass or fail is entirely down to you. I really hate the way this was presented. This is extremely odd. And it's not that crazy, I suppose, but I feel like this storyline would have made a lot more sense if we were just like a second year law student and Kazuma was our friend who has also been a mentor to us. 
didn't even tell us what our guy studied. Maybe that becomes important later. But like, our guy is just a student. You could make this feel a little bit more s seamless, I guess, if you just made it that he was a two second year law student. This is way too anime. Yeah, it's a. I don't mind it. I can live with it being a little over the top here today. I'll be all right. So, what form will the test take exactly? Tell me, Mr. Narahoda, what do you consider the role of a lawyer to be? Defending people, of course. State's attorney? Yeah! I... 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 I'm a really good lawyer in the Ace Attorney games, so... Well said, let's have you defend someone. Your timing is perfect, there's an app trial about to begin later today. No advocate has been appointed for the defense, so this will be welcome news. Wow. Phoenix becomes a legendary lawyer after four cases like it's been a thing. I, you know, that's true, but Phoenix also has a backstory that involves him having a life-changing event that causes him to go to law school. If you manage to secure a verdict of not guilty, you'll have passed my test. Hey, a quick interjection here, Strongheart. What if they did it? What could be simpler? What did they, what if they did it, though? Could I ask, what sort of trial is it, Lord Strongheart? Murder? Good question. I remember. Murder. Oida. It's a murder trial. No fu- No fucking way. It's a murder trial. Imagine if this was like, oh, it's actually a petty theft trial. <laughs> Your client is O.J. Simpson. Oh, no. An extremely simple case, I understand. You really can't lose. Okay. But I should mention, just in case, if the defendant is found guilty, he will, of course, be sentenced to capital punishment. <laughs> Here in Great Britain, murderers are sent to the gallows without exception. <laughs> Presumably you read that much in your short sea-based introduction to British law. Ah yeah, chapter one. Murder trials. If murder, then hang. Can't possibly agree to such a test, we'd be toying with a man's life. I am the Lord Chief Justice and I've decided it's acceptable. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Who are you? There's no need to overcomplicate this. All you have to do is ensure that you don't lose. This guy actually just hit me with a just win forehead. So the defendant may live or die depending on how well I perform in court. Yeah, Moose, he did do a just win forehead. If I lose, he'll be hanged. Yo, he's gonna be hung alright, if you know what I'm saying. You want me to take you seriously, you need to prove you're willing to do a lawyer's job. In Tennessee, yeah, yeah. And I would like to understand just how far you're willing to go in order to make that happen. He's testing my resolve. I'm sorry, but time is pressing. The trial begins shortly. I need an answer from you now. What's it to be? What did I just say? I don't think I said anything. Do I agree to this absurd test? Mm, no. And I'll do it. Yeah, if I have to give you a decision now. What? 15 seconds. Your decision making needs work if you want to be a lawyer. That was too slow. I wonder if that was... I wonder if that was actually timed. As I suspected, is it? You have noble intentions but lack the resolve. Mm -hmm. The test is cancelled. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to acquire your ticket back pa for passage back to the east tomorrow. This conversation is over. Is Japanese name? Sorry, is there a way for me to get different names, Ashbate? 
Is there an option in here that gives me English names that I did not see? Nah, tragic. You played the fan translation. Ah. Yes, Lord Strongheart. Thank you for Ryunosuke, what the fuck? What's Ryunosuke's name? Because his last name has to be right, I imagine. Sorry, Mr. Sato, but what could I do? I understand. It's not an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. A resolve has absolutely nothing to do with it. Oh, it's the same name? Okay. I think what Mr. Sato means is that no matter how badly I'd like to be recognized as a lawyer and stay here in Great Britain, to risk another man's life by treating his only one and only chance at a trial so trivially would be utterly unforgivable, and I feel exactly the same way. I mean, it's a free trial. We win these. Um, did you see these trials? I'm sure the defendant won't see this trial as a test of some kind of experiment. And I get the fuck out of London, dude. Where I may fight for his clients in court day after day, but for each of those clients, the particular day they stand in the dock may be the only chance they have. I'm not qualified, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. I can't believe they did a fade to black. I thought we were just gonna go back to Japan and that was gonna be the end. Approximately 20 minutes by carriage to the Old Bailey from here. If you leave immediately, you should still be there in time. Quite serious in what I told you. The defendant in this case has literally no one to advocate for him. At this point, he can't hope to find someone to represent him. The trial will begin without a defense. That doesn't seem right. I feel like they would just postpone the trial until they could find a defense attorney who would take it, right? Yeah, you could also just solo defend. That's a good point. He will receive the most severe <laughs> sentence the judge can pass down. Because nobody will defend him. Why does it have to be like this? Please don't expect an answer to every question. <laughs> the cold hard truth of the matter is that there is only one person now with a chance to save this man from a very miserable end. Do you think that if you got assigned a capital punishment, you could request firing squad instead of being hung? But do you think that they would give that to you? I'm really his only hope? So what do you say now? You said it wasn't an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances, and I agree. Only not it would cost ammunition. Yeah, but fuck him. It's my last last will and testament. In my estimation, it is purely and simply a matter of resolve. Yeah, yeah. The time is up here. I have a meeting to attend to. I must leave in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. You are a strange person. Venture into our great city and enjoy yourselves. This guy just told me that a man's gonna die and they said go and enjoy yourself. The Old Bailey. Do kids have, like, certain methods that are approved to do legal murders? Is that true, Cranberry? Hey, Sasato, what do you think? Can I ask you something? Is she about to kill us? Careful, from this position I can perform a Sasato takedown in an instant. Kumarahodo, you heard Lord Strongheart. Okay. If I need to throw you, I will. Yeah, I I really like Sasato. She has definitely grown on me as a character. She is very ridiculous. If we hurry and catch a cat, we may make it to the courthouse in time. Are we gonna kick in the door and be like, hold it, I will defend. Three states allow death by firing squad? Which one's Cranberry? 18th of February, 9.45 a.m., the Old Bailey Defendant's Antechamber. I'd like to guess which states. Actually, I would. I'm gonna go West Virginia, Texas, and... Wyoming.
Alabama's a very strong guess, too. Wrong, wrong, and wrong? Really? No Texas? right about Utah. Hmm. So no Alabama. How about Mississippi? Maybe like Montana because nobody gives a shit about Montana. Mississippi is one? Okay. So we got Utah, Mississippi. I'll say Montana. Allow by firing squad instead of require it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Zubal, I do agree. Episode 2 was just investigation. It was fun, though. I, I feel like it introduced other mechanics. Ganyan, hello. You didn't know I was a lawyer, man? Yeah, I love Phoenix Wright 1 through 3. Last one's Oklahoma? Oh... I like mystery stuff, and these games are ridiculous mysteries. Alright, we're on time. There's 15 minutes until the trial. Did you hear what I said to the driver when they climbed aboard? No. Get us to our destination in five minutes, driver, and there's a gin guinea in it for you? A what? One of my favorite lines from the Herlock film stories, and it worked quite well. What the fuck is a guinea? It's a coin? Uh, at least we arrived here before the trial started. Yeah, good move, Sasato. Anyway, I don't understand it. The court clerk said the defendant should be here, but there's no sign of him at all. Under the couch? Behind the couch? So this is the old Bailey. Even this room for defendants to wait in is grand. I think Sholmes is going to show up here? Absolutely. I also think Hosonaka is going to show up somehow. Feeling tense? Mm -hmm. seven, seven states allowed death by gas chamber? <laughs> what? Do you get to choose? How does that get chosen, Cranberry? Do you get to choose? Do Edgeworth spinoffs? Dude, it'd be pretty sick to do, like, a prosecution version of this game. Gas Chamber is an alternative method of execution in Alabama, Arizona, California, Mississippi, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Wyoming. That is absurd. An oppressive air, almost as if the building itself is going to crush whoever is about to be sentenced. It was like only yesterday I was about to be crushed. Mm -hmm. Whoever the man you are to defend is, I imagine, is feeling very alone at the moment. Oh my god, wait, what if it is Sherlock Holmes or Herlock Holmes here? Oh my god, who the fuck are you? Oh my god. What are you doing following me here? We got, this guy's from Brooklyn? Who are you? What are yous doing following me? -y? Things are <laughs> desperate. Are they? This guy's hat is absurd. Pardon me? Would you look at those expressionless faces? Hey, from, <laughs> from the east, are yous? I don't like you. <laughs> hey, uh, guilty. I'll be going back to Japan now. We're Yeah, we're from Japan. Ah, uh, Japan, is it? Right. Say no more. Is my accent kind of Canadian? Well, friend, it's a kind of a side effect of living near Canada. So, how much do you need? Just here because... No need to explain, fella. I've been there my myself, so I have. No place to go, nothing to eat. Hey, uh, Cranberry, 
nothing to eat, barely a penny to your name, and all while in a strange faraway land. Well, actually, we haven't found a place to stay yet, no. Tis grand, tis grand. Let me start by giving you a thousand guineas. Say nothing now. <laughs> but a thousand guineas is enough to build an entire mansion in the most prestigious area of Tokyo. It's a lot of money. It is nothing to me at all. This guy is definitely on trial for fraud. This guy is 100% a tax fraud man. Or, or he's a mafia boss and he's just gonna break our legs. I like to ensure I have sufficient funds to weather a rainy day, you see. I have enough wealth to buy the city of London two or three times over. Oh. Well, even so, we couldn't possibly accept such a large sum of money. Uh, I'm, I'm blind. Don't get me wrong, fella. I'm not giving it you no strings attached. I'll be wanting you to do something for me. I don't... I don't Sir, I don't... To be honest, tis a little embarrassing. Sir, uh, she's 16 and I am not comfortable with this situation. The trial that's about to begin, you see, is for me good self here. I'll be in the dock, okay. So now, what I want you to do is come along with me and stand there beside me. Officially, you'd be my lawyer, but that's just a little detail now. The thing is, no, I'm here to be your lawyer. Otherwise, you see, the trial is going to start without me having any kind of representation at all. Mm -hmm. Lord Chief Justice wasn't just making it all up. I need you to tell me your name. I need this guy's name. Bluster and blazes. Do yous, do yous not know who I am? Me? One of London's biggest names? I mean, we got here like 20 minutes ago. Joe Pesci. Oh my god, you're right. This guy is absolutely played by Joe Pesci. Hmm. I see. I suppose it isn't altogether impossible. Well, just next to Hyde Park there in the center of London is another beautiful park. What? It is called McGilded Park, full of blossom and flowers in the spring and singing birds and whatnot. I donated it to the city, so I did. Uh-huh. A city of smiles. That's my vision for London. There's your chant. There's nothing Magnus McGilded wouldn't do for the city and its queer old people. Magnus McGilded. That's amazing. I mean, really extraordinary. But, now they have the gall to say I'm a good for nothing criminal. Good for nothing. Good for none. Criminal. Me, Magnus McGilded. What is the matter with the London police, I ask ya? Ha ha ha. I was like panting. Mr. Narahoto. Perhaps now would be a good time to introduce ourselves. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, is, are they, like, incorruptible, or do you think this guy's actually poor? Mr. McGilded, we're here in London to study law. We're law students on a study tour from Japan. Mm-hmm. We don't have a lawyer for the trial yet, and you'd be happy to- yeah. What was I after saying, you daft idiot? Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be your lawyer, dude. 
think I see what's going on here. I know what you're thinking. This chancer of a fella claims to have more money than the queen. I wasn't really thinking that. If that's true, why can't he just hire the finest lawyer in all of England? Because he did it. That's the only- buddy, I don't- No. No, no. Although, it is a little strange why you don't have a lawyer. I agree, that is very odd. That would be the fault of the Reaper. Oh, <laughs> This game takes place, actually, uh, this game takes place after the release of the 2016 hit game Overwatch, I see. So the time frame has actually moved forward about a hundred years. Is this just what it's like in Britain? Sorry? Did he just say, uh, Reaper? I, the Grim Reaper of Bailey, Lord Barak Van Zeeks, the Prosecutor. Ah, the prosecutor is the Grim Reaper. <laughs> when Van Zeek stands for the prosecution, they call the accused his sacrificial lambs. Gee, I wonder if this guy's gonna have anything similar to Von Karma. Manfred, not Francesca. In every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, the accused has been damned. So it's reached the desperate situation where there's no one willing to stand in defense against the fella at all. Well, so this guy has never lost a single case to any defense attorney in the history of time. And we have studied law for 40 days. So I feel like this is a good matchup for us personally. Goodness, Lord Barak Van Zeeks. He must be an exceptionally talented prosecutor, then. The talented isn't the word you're looking for. He's a bitch. The defendant is summoned and is counsel. Please make your way into the courtroom. Didn't the... didn't the Lord Justice say this was a layup? The dude was like, this is free. You can't lose this case. Can I... yeah, can you... can you review the case, please? Did you kill someone? Until you showed your face here, I made up me mind, so I had. I decided I'd have to defend myself in there. Huh? Can you imagine someone having to defend themselves in the court of law? That would be ridiculous, unprecedented in this game. There's no accident, I can assure you of that. His fate. So don't get cold feet now, but tell me, did you shoot someone? Did you, yes or no, did you shoot someone? Literally know nothing about the case or about the man who stands accused. In fact, the only thing I do know is that I can't just turn my- D Did you kill a person? Have you done a cool murder? Yes, no. Mr. Narahodo. Mm hmm Something that Kazuma would have never allowed to have happened. Yeah, let's go, buddy. If you're late for the start of the trial, you will lose your right to stand. You're gonna have to sit through the whole trial? That sounds terrible. Let's go. Are they gonna let Sasato in here? It's happening, then. My first trial in a British court. I hope you're watching over me, Kazuma, because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a to be continued, right? No? Yeah, have you done a cool murder? Why, and? Oh, judge reveal. Do you think the judge is gonna be sick or terrible? 18th of February, 10 a.m., the Old Bailey courtroom. a maid? So this is the highest court in Br Great Britain, the Old Bailey. The centuries of history in this place are is palpable, isn't it? It's both imposing and serene. Makes words redundant. Whatever the country, determining a person's guilt or innocence is always a solemn affair. I see we have the sword. What? Oh no, his eyes. No. Ryunosuke, your eyes. <laughs> Even Sasato is saying your eyes don't look good, Ryunosuke. I know, but I just can't help it. Oh, judge reveal. Oh, that's Edgeworth. Oh, look at this dude. Oh my god, they got Santa Claus. Holy shit. 
In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. We are here to determine the guilt or innocence of Magnus McGilden. I now call upon the counsels for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you a vampire? Is he cursed because he's a fucking vampire? If a 100% win strategy against this prosecutor, is it open the blinds and let in sunlight, Cranberry? He really does look fully prepared to dispatch his next poor victim to the underworld. I already did the vampire joke? Okay. We're on the same page. Counsel for the defense, do you appear to be Eastern? Do you speak English? <laughs> that is an absurd question. Like I asked what's wrong with you to every person I meet? Well, maybe if they showed me some normal people, I wouldn't have to say that shit. I asked if the defense was ready, and I couldn't be further from ready if I tried. Yeah, so this guy is just Edgeworth. Those eyes please me, Nippa knees. What the fuck, dude? You cannot say that. They shroud your fear, your doubt, your trepidation. They run wild, clinging on to some phantom notion of courage. The quintessential look of a sacrifice. You are out of- you're insane. A cold shiver just ran down my spine to the tip of my toes. Now, Mr. McGilded, you stand accused of Moida, a capital offense. You could be sent to the gallows if found guilty. Are you quite sure you wish to entrust your defense to this foreigner? As I've always said, my lord, tis a grand ting to give opportunities to the young. Even if the fella is a student from some little island off in the Far East, is it not the British way to ignore the dangers to yourself and give those less fortunate a fair chance? No, I think the British way is colonialism and imperialism, actually. I'd like to think that acts of chivalry do the great British Empire proud. What a fine gentleman London has in him. Did you hear that? He donated 5,000 pounds to the government the other day. Mother, may we please go and play in the park? It seems as though everyone in the public gallery is firmly behind Mr. McGilden. Yeah? Surprised he couldn't convince anyone to defend him? Bong. I'm starting to feel Brooklyn Wonka is not so bad also. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm sure I need hardly remind you. What? You can't have a knife in here. I mean, we do have a samurai sword, I guess. But, like, can you be openly brandishing a knife like this? At least our sword is sheathed. You six members of the public have been selected for your impartiality. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, my lord. If the task is to send rotters to the gallows where they belong, I'm more than ready. At the manor, his lordship always says we should dispose of rubbish promptly. I agree. Any criminals here? You, this man is a doll. This guy just looks like a doll. As you are a stenographer. You're an alcoholic. I feel a chill. This lady is senile. Must finish these mitts for my grandson. These people are the jury. Uh huh, yeah, we don't have juries in Japan. I've only ever read about it. Okay, so we got Mr. Monopoly, a maid, a serial killer, 
a stenographer, a leprechaun, and a senile old lady as the jury. The judge passed the sentence according to the law, but the jurors determined guilt based on common sense. So the defendant is ultimately judged from two completely different points of view. It will become clear as the trial progresses. Mm -hmm. Executor Van Zeeks. Been a number of years since we've seen you here in the courtroom. I thought you'd renounced your fame. You're known as the Reaper of the Bailey. Infamy rather than fame, I would say. But yes, five years have passed since I last spread my wings in this capacity. <laughs> what are they doing here? What are they doing with this character? They they really, when writing the character, just said, what if we made him unequivocally a vampire? So, what brings you back? Is there some change of circumstance of which the court should be aware? I leave that to your imagination, my lord. Reaper has been out of action for five years. Do you think that this is just Edgeworth and Edgeworth changes his name and is a vampire? You have to choose today of all days to make a comeback. Whose heart? Mr. Narohodo. Vampire has a sword? I mean, we have a sword too, so it's okay. As you wish, sir. The court nevertheless welcomes your return. Now then, opening statements, I think. A summary of the case, if you please. Yeah, please someone tell me what the fuck is happening. As your lordship is aware, this is a case of overwhelming simplicity. Mm -hmm. The incident took place in the late evening. Three days passed. The hour was some minutes after ten. The victim was a maker of building bricks known in the community as Thrice Fired Mason. Pardon me, I don't know what thrice means. As a very accomplished craftsman, the bricks he fired were said to have been almost indestructible. Apparently he should have had one in his stomach. The victim's corpse was discovered in an omnibus in service on the streets of London at the time. A dagger that had been thrust into the victim's abdomen is believed to have been the ultimate cause of death. I can see how you would draw that conclusion. Here is the autopsy report from the investigating medical officer at Scotland Yard. Nice. And crime scene photograph. Nice, we need these. One further item of evidence. Prosecution wishes to submit these as well. Those are gloves. Isn't that blood? <laughs> yes, my lord, seized by a policeman who arrived at the scene. These gore-soaked gloves were taken from the hands of the accused when he was arrested. Well, that doesn't look good. Poison again? Uh, there's no way this is poison. I don't think they're gonna pull the it's actually poison card on me again. It's OJ? Yeah, quick, try these gloves on. Does this glove fit? Do these gloves fit? If they don't fit, you must acquit. I'm backed into a corner before I even started. Continuing. According to the driver of the Omnibus, there were only two passengers traveling inside his vehicle at the time. Mm -hmm. Obviously one of those passengers was the deceased brickmaker, Mr. Mason. The other... ...was the accused, Magnus McGilded. Sick point stance. Extremely imposing power stance here. Well, rather damning circumstances, to say the least. Is one upside down? I think they were up one was upside down. Defendant? Hey, what do you gotta say, Mr. McKillen? Of course I have no recollection of such a thing. To be sure, I rode the omnibus that evening. 
but whenever I'm in a carriage, I'm taken with a fierce tiredness, and I always succumb to it. Hey, Cranberry, he always succumbs to tiredness, if you want to do something with that. Are you claiming to have been asleep? Yep. Well, as a desperate sight before me, the body of a man I'd never laid eyes on before in me life. Now I ask you, what good-hearted soul wouldn't rush to help a fella bleeding from his stomach? I wasn't about to start worrying about me gloves now, was I? I reached out to give the man a hand. It checks out. Unfortunately, that statement of the drivers is only the beginning. Mm -hmm. There was multiple witnesses to the precise moment at which the brickmaker was fatally stabbed. <laughs> this case is looking kind of fucked. Ordar! 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 Like a fucking giant. I really like Ordar. When the killing took place, only the victim and the accused were in the carriage. And there were witnesses to the crime. This is not just a case of compelling evidence. It's the nail in the coffin for the accused. The Chief Justice said this case was going to be extremely easy for us to solve. This guy sucks. Hmm... Thank you, counsel. The circumstances of the crime have been made quite clear. I think we'll hear testimony from the witnesses first of all. Sounds good, brother. Your wish is my command. Look deep into my eyes. Bailiff, bring in the witnesses at once. That's one hell of a cast right there. Witnesses, names, and occupations. His name is Beppo. <laughs> Pardon me. Your name is Beppo. B e p p o. I drive an omnibus in the East End. Bruce Fairplay. I'm a banker in the city. This dude's name is Bruce Fairplay. The banker. Tax fraud. My name's first Lay. <laughs> Lady first. I make hats for gents. This guy, this guy, this guy is a fedora crafter. Lady first. Let's begin by confirming the facts. Three days ago, at a short time after 10 o'clock in the evening, all of you present in the stand were in the omnibus and witness to the aforementioned incident. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Quite right. Yes, sir. That's right, sir. Very well, then. Let's proceed to your formal testimonies, please. Lay these nuts first. That's a good one, Dynamo. That one, someone should write that one down. Cranberry, if you would like to get the chalk, please. Each of you will tell the court precisely what you saw. So there's a different game mechanic here now where I have to look at how other people react. It was the last bus of the evening, so I had a few customers. I remember it well. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. Out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged a knife right into his guts. That's right, he stabbed him. I screamed, I did. Couldn't help it. As soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus and then I saw it too. Okay. Unambiguous testimony. These men witnessed the incident in the omnibus with their own eyes. To ask a question if I may. Mm -hmm. This testimony makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Uh huh. 
Well, the incident took place inside a moving carriage. I agree. In that case, how did those guys see the instant? Yeah, how they, were they in the carriage? How quaint. I'd read that civilization in Eastern Island nations was a good century behind our own. But you're here in London yourself. Are you really so ignorant about our omnibuses? Remember the Twitch app thing so you don't have to get out of bed to chat? Ah. Uh, good old, uh, good old Twitch mobile. Gotta wait for Charter to deign to give me back my internet connection. Know how to remake someone else do this, I quit. Hmm. Someone else to handle the chalk could give power to someone who's been oppressed time and time again in your absence, Cranberry? Hmm. Does anyone have any ideas of someone who's been oppressed in this chat room? Who could, uh, take over? Ashbay, thanks for two months. Hog? Hog. Can't reverse psychology? You? No, this is just regular psychology, Cranberry. <laughs> this is just this is just normal psychology. Is it you, friend? It is, yeah, I was actually thinking twitch.tv slash pasta alfrendo was my answer to this question. If Cranberry's uh quitting. I think Cranberry would be wonderful at handling the chalk. That's what I'm saying. I think Cranberry would do a great job of handling the chalk. Tell me, my Nipponese friend, have you even traveled in an omnibus? No. I got here like an hour ago. No, we only arrived in London this morning. No matter. I have arranged for us all to see for ourselves the actual scene of the crime. Oh. The carriage is designed to be moved, after all. Presumably you understand that much. Uh-huh. The omnibus in which this bloody crime took place is here today in the building? <laughs> they, they drove this car in here like it's a mall prize? The entire carriage? Bailiff? Get me the Jeep Cherokee 2019 with 4x4? Cranberry's trying to silence me. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> hey, you can't park here. This is a courtroom. Can you believe they could bring something so enormous in here? You can't... Hey, you can't park here. As you can see, the omnibus is pulled by two horses and can carry up to eight passengers. 